across your mind, what would happen if the world reached the phase where you could become best friends or the deadliest foe with robots? Well, all this sounds unreal, right? But there's a country that could possibly develop its technology into making robots as common as humans. Want to know more about it? Make sure to watch this video to the very end. Hey there, welcome back to the channel, Robot Future, a channel where you can daily update about robots. In today's video, we brought you a country that's possibly the robot country of the world, Singapore. Before we begin, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, click that bell icon so that you never miss out on any new content from us. Also, comment down below your suggestions about the world with robots. We would love to know your thoughts. And with that being said, shall I begin? Okay, I will. Technology has taken a severe turn, making the world 10 times faster than what we had previously anticipated. The way our lives revolve with the help of technology leaves us to the next question. What has Singapore been doing with technology? Well, advancement in technology has helped humans to make the world a better place, assist humans in dealing with mundane tasks, work effectively, and enable space for the creation of high-value added jobs. Well, Singapore, a country, has been famous for taking much quicker steps than the rest of the world into applying robotics technology into daily lives. Be it a robot patrolling the streets or selling coffee at a nearby store, things that are not common to us are common and are actually happening right now in Singapore. It's said that the country is living in 2050, according to leading high-tech industry leaders. What has made this state get so forward? Let's learn from this video. It's believed by industry leaders that Singapore is going to lead the world into technology in the upcoming years. The country with specialized infrastructure, high governmental support for technological advancements, and strong intellectual property laws have made the country act more like a magnet attracting large numbers of foreign investments and interest. Singapore has massively adopted and has been passing down robotics as a part of its knowledge-based, innovative, and smart system. The country started early with the adoption of artificial intelligence. After South Korea, Singapore is the second most automated country in the world. According to the International Federation of Robotics, Singapore has managed to equip its robots of 488 in numbers to work as per what 10,000 human employees would work, which is above the global average standing at 74. The country is expected to double its robotics line this year. The recent 2021 reports are yet to arrive, however it can be anticipated that the growing volume of robotics culture is much faster than any other country in the world. Among the seven technological areas, Singapore has become the most futuristic country in the world. We will now be looking into the areas of technology to evaluate Singapore's future growth and development further. Before we begin, here's a task for you. Pause the video, head to the comment section, and leave your answers for what you think the seven technological areas are. Okay, moving on. Yet a little dim on the marketing side, Singapore has truly evolved as a smart country, and here are the seven technological advancements that make this country smart. The first one is self-driving cars. If you thought Tesla and Neo were the first companies to get started with autonomous cars, you should know about Singapore. Indeed, the concept of autonomous cars has been there for a long time, but did you know that Singapore launched its first driverless taxi system back in 2015, when Tesla was just getting recognition? The dream of Elon Musk was already achieved by Singapore. We're all foreigners who enter into a taxi and see no drivers, but in Singapore the people there are used to this miracle. What is more interesting is, their plans to introduce driverless cars also a company that people could book their taxis using smartphones, a concept that the third world countries are experiencing in recent years, but with drivers. The government has been this whole time enthusiastic about technology, so they plan on launching driverless buses by the end of 2022. These buses will become a pivotal part of the streets and public transports in busy areas such as Punggo, Jurong, and Tenga. The entire concept of autonomous cars is already interesting, and such advanced technology has given Singapore the leverage to significantly contribute more to its infrastructure development and become the leader of a smart city. The second field is robo-police. Now this may sound highly unreal, but the law enforcement in Singapore actually involves robot police. Even though the crime rate in Singapore is significantly low, the robotics technology to build police enforcement is a bigger problem for criminals. Previously, Singapore also started using drones specialized to conduct aerial searches all across the states, and these are known as quadcopters. Every quadcopter is programmed to reach heights of 60 meters and they form flying police, literally and figuratively. 
The engineers have installed powerful sirens on each quadcopter and a 10 times more powerful searchlight than a regular car headlight. Now, how cool is that? Wait, let's come back to the ground reality. The ground phase is controlled and patrolled by bots during special public events. These bots are completely autonomous and use pre-planned paths for their navigation. Every bot is equipped with cameras so they can conduct remote surveillance. In the latest update, we found that Singapore is now programming robots to patrol the public for undesirable social behaviors. The country is already in the midst of its three-week trial. Lily Ling, the Singapore Food Agency's East Regional Officer Director, says the deployment of ground robots will help to augment our surveillance and enforcement resources. The adoption of robotics technology can be used to enhance such operations and reduce the need for our officers to do physical patrols. Moving on to the third field, the smartest city to live in, the smartest homes. Living in a home that is highly equipped with technology much higher, faster, and literally comparable to Jarvis from Iron Man is possibly a dream. What do y'all think? Well, life in Singapore is a vision for the future. The homes in Singapore are HDB smart enabled to help humans advance daily living as this technology makes homes smarter and cooler. The governments help people with affordable homes. The entire neighborhood is managed by sensors, which manages and monitors electricity, water, and other consumptions. A utility management system not only keeps you calm and ensures that you've turned off the tap or switched off the light, but it also helps you save money on your utility bills. A senior monitoring system also employs sensors and alarms to keep tabs on older relatives who are left alone at home. Smart home technology is currently progressing at a breakneck pace, and it'd only be a matter of time before individuals have self-sufficient homes. The fourth field is the street that is smart, works smarts. Singapore is presently working to make its streets smarter by putting lampposts that will highlight the city's technology feature while also lighting up avenues. Sensors and analytic systems are built into the new lighting. Sensors will allow for monitoring environmental changes such as temperature, rainfall, and humidity. There will also be noise sensors that will react to loud noises such as a scream or a car accident. In addition, facial recognition sensors will be installed in the lighting to improve the safety of Singapore's streets. Hopping onto the next field, robots everywhere. As mentioned earlier, the country has 488 robots per 10,000 human employees in Singapore. Industrial robots often do modest jobs such as acquiring and returning service items, but this small adjustment transforms the workplace into something far more futuristic than it has ever been before. The introduction of industrial robots is merely the first step toward a smarter workplace. GN Polytechnic students and colleagues recently developed a robo-coach that can provide physical training from the elderly. The government has clearly planned for the elderly welfare because that audience is pretty high in number. Singapore is attempting to integrate robots into the medical profession in order to increase their efficacy. For example, robots can already distribute medication, which speeds up the procedure and reduces pharmacy wait times. The sixth field is cashless payments. The concept of paperless payments is slowly conquering the entire world. However, things are pretty fast in Singapore as the government is trying to shift completely towards a cashless payment approach by getting rid of cash and long ATM lines. Singaporeans may now pay using their smartphones at restaurants and retail stores using QR codes. NetsPay, DBS PayLa, OCBC Pay Anyone, and UOB Mighty are some of the bank wallet apps that accept payments. In reality, as electronic purchases become more common, consumers will gradually quit carrying cash. After a few years, it's projected that not only muggers will be out of business, but e-payments will also cut illegal cash transactions. And lastly, virtual reality. The concept of a smart city will not exist without putting virtual reality in it. Virtual Singapore is probably the most ambitious VR project. Its goal is to create a three-dimensional digital model of the city. With the aid of people who would develop a more resilient and smarter city, this initiative will become a testbed for Singapore's government corporations and researchers. Singapore is living in 2050 and that's the real truth. It's possible for the country to lead the world into robotics technology in the upcoming years. Thank you for watching. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to always stay updated. Comment below because your comments make a difference and we'll see y'all in our next one.